Hey guys! So, um, today, well, like I said, I got home, I shouldn't have been, I went to bed last, well, this morning, um, between 5 and 5.30, <laughs> about an hour to an hour and a half before I have to be up in the morning, so, um, and I think, I'm pretty sure the doctor last night knew I wasn't gonna get out of there for a while, so she actually wrote me a note, for today and tomorrow. However, I am going back tomorrow because I got shit to make up. I got like three tests. <sighs> but um, anyway, so today's been really good. Um, I have taken four of my breathing treatments, which is four puffs of uh, my inhaler every four hours. Um, it definitely helps. It helps in like 10, 15, 20 minutes. It it's great. <laughs> Um, and as you can see, I am not wearing that green shirt anymore. I'm wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty much today I slept. I ate. I slept. We went to the store. We ate. And I slept again. Like, I was on the couch not even five minutes ago falling asleep. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna try to keep this one really short. <laughs> anyway, so, um, other than that, Mom and I, like I said, we went up to the store, and we, yeah, we went up to the store. <laughs> but, um, that covered pretty much anything we did outside of the house today, because everyone in the house was so exhausted, because Gigi stayed up the entire time we were at the hospital. Normally, she's asleep by, like, 11, 11.30. She was up till 5 in the morning. Um... She was freaking out because she was so scared. I talked to her this morning and she said, yeah, I knew that there was something going on. Like, she thought I was, like, really concerned about, like, my weight or the school or just being under a lot of stress. Like, I've been saying, like, I can't breathe. But after I've been on my inhaler, it's just been so much better. Like, she says she's been able to tell. Because I've been acting very differently. I'll even admit that. My mood has been, like, really haywire like uh, mom and I are at the store I think sometime last week or the week before and I said you know why I'm so bitchy because I can't fucking breathe I can't breathe I feel like I have an elephant on my chest all the time and there's nothing that I can do about it because I refuse to miss school if I can help it the reason that I missed school is because we were at the hospital until 3.15 in the morning and then got home around 4.45 so, yeah, but I was finally diagnosed with, um, responsive airway, no, no, I have to think, mm. I hate this, I'm actually having to think, just because it's like one in the morning, I'm trying to not think, I'm trying to want to sleep, um, Like, responsive airway disease or something like that. It's, yeah, I think that's what it is. I said it yesterday, it's actually or unresponsive airway disease or something. No, because it's RAD. Responsive airway disease, yeah. Anyway, it's a group of diseases like asthma, COPD, and... Well, it groups three general areas. If you have asthma, if you have COPD, and if you're prone to getting upper respiratory infections with I am, which I am. I know that I said this at the end of the vlog yesterday. However, I had to put it in two parts, and um, it kind of cut me off. So it's um, I have had pneumonia seven times. I've had bronchitis five times. I've had laryngitis, and I've had sinusitis, which are all upper respiratory infections. So, um. Yeah, it's a bitch. Um, it hurts to not be able to breathe. It actually hurts really badly because you just have, like, this um, really tight feeling. And pretty much what happens with me is I get, like, asthma-type symptoms such as wheezing and coughing or getting out of breath very, very quickly. And then it just... It, it's horrible. But pretty much it's just my airways constrict. And then the way that... I can get them to dilate is by taking my albuterol, which is my inhaler. 
But, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much what we've done today. And I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.